Hi guys, welcome to the channel and welcome to Tabby Tuesday. I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at what I had worked on before I started filming. This is actually a download off of Tabitha Barnett's um, shop and it is skin and hair um, swatch sheets and there's actually three PDF files for this. This is page three of the PDF. These are my Cali Art skin tones and these are the red tones and then these are my yellow tones and then I have my chameleon skin tones that I've done on here and I wanted to show you guys this because this download is only a couple bucks it's very inexpensive and I thought that this might be something that you guys may be interested in where you could either practice with your skin tones and hair or if you just wanted like I did just to swatch down the colors for easy reference I'll be going through all of my sets and swatching them out onto these the other pages are each a little different a different number of faces or what have you or different hairstyles to choose from so if you'll just click the little arrow below and open up the description to the video you can go to Tabitha's store and check this out Remember, we have a channel coupon code that's in that description down below. That's good for 30% off in Tabitha's store um, for now. So let's support Miss Tabitha. I thought this was a neat little idea and I wanted to share it with you guys. Today I'm going to be coloring a page from A Fairy's Tale. This is um, from a book by Tabitha that you can find in her store and as well on Amazon. And there will be links below to this. And in this book, it is actually a cute little storybook with images to color. And I think that it's just absolutely adorable. And I thought I would color from that today. And what I'm going to be using is the Hoo Hoo Hero markers that I just recently reviewed. Um, so maybe you guys can get just a little closer look at those. If you don't mind, please bear with me today. I am so very under the weather. I feel so horrible and um, it's actually Sunday but um, I wanted to just go ahead and get this filmed today because I had come to the conclusion that if I did not get this filmed today that it may not make it up by Tuesday so here we are and I'm going to try to hang in there and make this work so I am um, this is G515 in the Hoo Hoo Hero it's grass green but um, I've been a little under the weather for the past few days having some issues and I'm just kind of trying to been you know been trying to just medicate here at home and hope for the best well, a little bit ago, my throat just started getting so very sore, and I took some Tylenol extra strength as well as some naproxen for any inflammation that may be going on, and um, we shall see. I am sure a doctor's visit is in order for first thing in the morning. I hope you guys are doing very well. Um, other than being um, under the weather, I'm doing well. Um, there hasn't been a whole lot going on lately, truly. Things uh, have been quiet, so that's always nice. Gary goes in for his... Um, appointments with the new surgeon on Thursday morning and that's all the way up in Atlanta so it's about 35 miles for us into the city yay not <laughs> but um, the surgery will be at Emory um, in Atlanta so 
It's a good hospital. It has a great reputation. This doctor is... Um, the head guy of the cardiovascular, is it cardiovascular surgeon, I believe. So, hopefully we're in very good hands. Um, I know Gary's having a really tough time right now. His blood pressure is so out of whack. Um, yesterday it was like two to something over 110 or something like that and it just you know it was like that first thing in the morning after getting up and then he had actually been outside and had gotten some work and things like that accomplished and had came back inside and checked his blood pressure again and it was much lower than that so you know go figure we're not really sure what's going on there's just no rhyme to reason, and we need to get this surgery done to hopefully get that back under control. And I really haven't been doing all that much. Um, Just the standard day in and day out, you know. There's always laundry to be done. There's always meals to be cooked. <laughs> and that's been a lot of what's been going on. Um, we had some meatloaf last night, which was very tasty. And, um, uh, had some potatoes and corn to go with that. Uh, that's probably going to be dinner again tonight, the leftovers, because I am just not feeling well at all. And Gary's working and my mother-in-law fell during the night again last night. So, she is down today. Um, we've told her that she just needs to sit and try to rest um, today. I think she had overdone things a bit yesterday. And that may have led to that. But, for some reason, I guess she had gotten out of the bed and had fell down. And she didn't call us during the night to come help so she was in the floor for about two and a half hours um, before she was finally able to get herself up and um, so we're dealing with that so I don't know I'm sick as I can be and I'm you know trying to make sure that she's staying off her feet in case she's still unstable for any reason. Her blood pressure has been going um, up a lot and running a lot higher than it should. So we're just having to, everybody's taking care of everybody kind of thing. We had some homemade banana pudding that got made. We had some bananas that were just about past their time. So, we got some uh, wafers and stuff and put together a banana pudding. I love banana pudding. But I do not like my banana pudding hot. I like it when it's cold and after it's sat like overnight and all the juices can seep down into the wafers. I like lots and lots of wafers in my banana pudding. The more the merrier. Um, I could do without the bananas, truly. 
and I know that's kind of a necessary thing for banana pudding, but that's not my favorite part of banana pudding. My favorite part is definitely the wafers. They are so yummy, yummy, yummy. And for those of you who haven't seen the review on these Hoo Hoo Heroes, it was a very short review, much shorter than most of my other reviews, but as I said, I've been feeling very under the weather, so I wanted to, um, I needed to get that done, but at the same time, there was no way I was going to be able to do, um, the super long reviews. I mean, I did everything that I would have normally done. I just, I did not swatch on camera, but these are, I believe, the same as our Cali Arts. I mentioned that in that video, and um, we have been discussing that over in the Facebook group some one night after someone had mentioned that they had these. Um, so I wanted to get my hands on them because I thought that they looked um, a lot like the Cali Arts, and they do look identical to the Cali Arts. It even looks like the colors are, of the inks are even identical. I compared the swatches for the Hoo Hoo Heroes beside the swatches for my Cali Arts. So they do look pretty close. So I think when it comes down to if you're purchasing markers and you like the Cali Arts or you like the Hoo Hoo Heroes, um, whatever the case may be on that, if you, you know, you could just check and see which one is working out cheapest in price at the time and pretty safely go with that brand and you would be doing well, I think. The Hoo Hoo Heroes are um, 88 colors, where the Cali Arts go up to 100. And I didn't see on Amazon where you could get the Hoo Hoo Heroes in any smaller than the 88 set. So there'll be links down below um, if you want to take a closer look at these on Amazon. So this morning, I got to shop at the Blick Outlet store that's located in Illinois. And I suppose you're thinking, well, how in the world did you do that, Donna, when you're in Georgia? <sighs> Miss uh, Corey went back to the Blick Outlet store, and I had asked her the next time she goes if she could, you know, hit me up and let me know. Um... So maybe I could tag along through Messenger or <laughs> text if there was anything that I may need. And I was able to pick up a few things and I just PayPal'd her the money so she could pay for those. And so that was really nice. That store, the prices that she says she gets there is amazing. I would love to be able to go there someday. You never know. Gary's not going to understand when I start planning some vacation to some random place in Illinois. You know, he'll be none the wiser. He'll never think to Google how close it is to the Blick Outlet. No way. But yeah, I had watched um, Corey's trip where she went with um, Sharon and I was just absolutely just amazed um, at all the different things that they were finding 
So I wanted to get in on some of that action. If you haven't seen it, the video is on Sharon's um, YouTube, that Sharon Sanctuary. It looked like they had just a blast of a time. I think Corey had said that it's the only Blick outlet in the country, maybe. So she's very, very lucky to have that so close by. Sorry for twisting this all around so I could get to it a little better. I had to go make me some more coffee. I was hoping that hopefully the coffee would soothe my throat some. But I've been feeling a tad feverish this morning and I thought I was feeling you know a little little flush a little feverish and then kind of started feeling a little clammy and I was like ooh this is icky and then the sore throat started so I'm really hoping this isn't strep because I'm very very susceptible to strep I really like this um, little storybook. The story is just adorable. I took the time um, before I printed this page to, to read all of the story and it was just the cutest thing. And all of the images are just so cute. Especially, you know, if you like fairies. And I do, I do, fairies and mermaids, but not the scary ones, you know, just the cute ones. Hope you guys have um, had the opportunity to see the um, 1,000 subscriber giveaway video. If you haven't, it's up. Please go over and um, enter the contest. Please watch the video. There's instructions how to enter on the video, and you're going to need to make sure that you're following the instructions on how to enter. Um, okay, the next I'm going in is Y107, which is lightning yellow. So, like I said, there's instructions in that video on how to enter the giveaway. Please follow the directions that are given. If your post um, does not contain what's needed to enter. The post will be deleted and the entry or your post, your comment will not be counted towards an entry. Um, the reason I'm doing that, the reason I had specifics that you had to put in to be entered was because Sometimes um, people will just go to like the YouTube search and just type in giveaway and whatever giveaways, current giveaways pop up, they'll just enter all of those giveaways and generally they don't take the time 
to watch the video or anything and they're not subscribers or they'll subscribe just long enough to take part in a giveaway and they don't watch the video and I just don't feel like that's fair to um, those of you who have you know been with me for you know since the beginning and I want all of you to have um, the opportunity to win the giveaway this is B203 um, which is pastel blue so I just want to make sure that anyone who is just coming over to the channel just to enter the giveaway they're not going to know unless they actually watch the video what to do to enter so um, if you put more in your post you know if you're thinking back now and going oh did I put too much as long as you put the one thing that I specifically asked for even if you said other things that's fine you're you're entered but if that one thing that was asked for is not in the post then I'm just going through and deleting the posts that don't include that because they're not valid entries I hope that makes sense and I hope you guys um, agree that that's probably the best thing to do to make sure that my subscribers who are here on the regular have the best chance of winning the giveaway. Some people had told me that, or I've heard some feedback, that some people have problems posting on YouTube. They can't post comments on YouTube, and I have no idea why that is. Um, I was listening to one of Zoe Archer's recent videos, and it, it seems like maybe her sister's having that same problem, where her sister cannot comment on YouTube videos. And... Um, she doesn't know why she's checked her settings and um, I've heard that some of you may be having those same problems if that's the case I definitely want you to still be able to enter the contest please try to find just a friend or a family member who has a YouTube account just have them go ahead and subscribe to the channel for you know the time that it takes for the contest what um, you need to do is just make sure you tell them what's needed to enter and have them do that for you that way you'll be entered into the contest and if um, they win then they can pass that along to you because I definitely want you to be able to enter the contest and I thought that it was just maybe one person and it was maybe a me problem and I couldn't figure out what it was and I was gonna try to do everything I could to try to help that person and when I realized that this was um, a problem that more than one person was having I knew that there was just no way I could solve all of that I mean at the end of the day we can't solve all the world's problems all the time but I want you guys definitely to be able to enter so if you can get a friend or a family member to to you know to subscribe and go ahead and leave um, the comment that needs to be left so you'll be entered into that because I definitely want you all to have the opportunity to win the contest you're interested in any of oh there's also a freebie coloring page that Tabitha Burnett drew for the group for the the channel so that was very very kind of her and I was very excited for that so um, if you'd like to get that uh, definitely go watch the video It'll give you the link where you can go to download the image so um, you can 
color that or color along. That's, I'm going in now with yellow ochre, which is Y423. But that's the image that I'll be coloring when we do the giveaway video. And you guys can do that and color along, or you can go ahead and color that now. So that freebie's over there. And I don't know how much longer the coupon code for our group will be available. So if you would like to take advantage of Tabitha's 30% um, off, make sure you look in the description of, the, of this video and follow the link to her store where you can um, download some books at 30% off. And those are her PDF books. So I hope that some of you will be able to take advantage of that. I know I did. I finished out my Tabitha Barnett collection with the code. Um, the only books I did not get was, I think, Girls, Girls, Girls and Flowers, not Flowers and Gems. Um, gems and Pretty, Gemstones and Pretty Things or something like that. I didn't get those two books because the girls were wearing like necklaces that had gemstones and I don't do gemstones. And I think it's flowers and gemstones and other pretty things. Maybe that's the name of the book. But I didn't get those because of the gemstones. And I didn't really want to color the gems. But I got all of the mandala books. All of the broken circle books. And then I got this cute little storybook here that I just adore. This would be really cute to get and color for like maybe your grandchildren, especially if you were to get to the PDF, get the PDF and you could print this out on, you know, very special paper, um, you know, maybe decorative paper or something like that that you could find. And then you could um, bind it in, you know, any way that you would want it bound. And maybe a little storybook, maybe a, a child or a grandchild. Um, that might be a neat little, little gift that they could cherish from, you know, their grandparents or their parents. That would be really neat. I may actually do something like that if and when um, I'm blessed with grandchildren. That might be a neat little thing to do for them. That was kind of the idea I had with my Ivy and the Inky Butterfly book. What I kind of thought about doing with it was turning that into a book for maybe grandchildren when I did have them. So, something like this would do well also. It's like a little you know, bedtime storybook or, or something like that. Okay. G318 is called Ocean Green. I'm going to go in with it just a little bit. Just kind of darken this grass. I'm sticking up a little bit here. So it'll stand out a little more. I'm sorry, I'm so quiet, guys. I just, mm, I'm not feeling well at all. I'm having a hard time keeping, you know, a good train of thought going. 
We have the Super Bowl today here in Georgia, in Atlanta. I'm about 30 miles south of Atlanta. And the traffic here has been horrendous for days and days. People have came in to camp and, you know, all kinds of things for this event. And, um, hotels have been sold out. And yesterday, Gary just needed to run to the store to pick up a few little things. And he was gone for a couple of hours. He said that the store was absolutely packed, crowded, just crazy packed out. And um, so many things were sold out. Traffic in town was horrible. I'm not a big football fan. Um, I enjoy I enjoy baseball a good bit. I played softball in my youth and I loved it. Loved, loved, loved. And it was slow pitch softball. But that gave me an appreciation for baseball. So when I watch anything, I like to watch baseball. I'm a Braves fan, Atlanta Braves. Go Braves. Um, that's about as far as my, you know, big sports thing goes. Gary is a, a Georgia Tech fan, football, and an Atlanta Falcons football fan. Jordan is a Georgia Bulldogs fan. And um, I don't think Michael minds any of it really too much. He's not, he played football in high school, but I mean, he's not football crazy. Um, you know, to watch as an adult so much. And he's still young. That may change. You know, he's, he's 25, but he's just getting his life started. Recently married. Um, as time goes on, he may watch more. That's, you know, that's how that kind of thing happens sometimes. Okay, and I'm going to go in with G606, which is Bud Green. I think this is a very pretty green. I'm hoping it'll stand out enough from this grass green. Are you guys sports fans? If so, tell me all about it below. Who's your favorite teams? Did you play sports or do you play sports? If so, what do you play? standing out as much as I had hoped it would. There's a few greens in this, but you're not overloaded with greens. And greens are a pretty big deal. Um, And this picture here was just going to call for a lot of greens. Okay. I'm going to go back in. Okay. 
I'm wondering if I should go back over those again. Just to maybe try to darken it up a little or is it gonna just make it blend in with that grass even more? I don't know. Put that there and we'll look at that in a minute. And see what we think. B205 is Karelian blue. I'm gonna use it on the cute little bird here. The blue bird. We're having springtime temperatures here in Atlanta today, that's for sure. It's probably in the 60s. And by Thursday, ooh, sorry, by Thursday, it is supposed to be close to 75 degrees here. That's nuts. Y314 is yellow. And I'm going to use that for her hair. And with these huge swings in weather, there's no wonder I'm sick. You just can't go through spring, summer, fall, and winter all in the same week. I mean, you can here in Georgia. Sometimes even in the same day, it seems like. It'll start out really cold in the morning, and then by mid-morning, it's springtime weather, and by afternoon, it's summer. And by late afternoon, it's fall. And then nighttime, it becomes winter again. That's often the way Georgia temperatures work. been lots of people out doing yard work and all kinds of outside things the past few days because it's been warming up and I'm sure that'll continue for the rest of the week I just finished um, getting all of my winter clothes out and sat up and everything, you know, where it needed to be um, in my closet. I'm going to go in with R100, which is barely beige, and do her skin tone. And I packed up my real summery clothes, you know. And then that afternoon was when Gary was like, hey, do you know what was supposed to be me, right? course, I am going to have to go on some sort of diet because these holidays have, you know, starting at like Halloween, has just packed the pounds onto me. Oh my goodness. My pants aren't fitting. A lot of my shirts are feeling tight and I don't like it at all. It's very depressing. Very, very, very depressing. <laughs> And that's something that I have got to start taking kind of serious. Now, I just said that to say, I mean, it probably doesn't matter that I packed my summer stuff up. <laughs> probably wasn't going to fit anyway.
because I can go on over and do this little fairy skin also. I don't know if I'll get to the little fairy up on top today on camera or not. I'm just not feeling very well at all. I think I need to lay down pretty soon. Look, she's like all barefooted down here. I just realized that. I've, I guess this is probably her legs too, though. I'm probably making you guys dizzy going back and forth, huh? I'm sorry. So, so sorry. Little bear toes. R703, it's pastel violet. I'm gonna do her dress in the pastel violet. And I'm gonna have to turn you guys because I just. markers squeak a little more than I think the Cali Arts do. I don't know if it's the fact that I'm on a, I guess it could be the fact that I'm on a smoother paper because I am on a cardstock. Because I don't recall them being squeaky like this when I swatched them out and that was not on cardstock. So that might make a bit of a difference. Eight two six. Aster Tartarius. I'm not sure how to say that. I'm going to just kind of line it. It's a dark purple or a dark violet color. Let's kind of do the little linings here with that. Goodness, it's had a bit of a dizzy spell. Okay, um, trying to decide what to do with our wings. Lavender blue, I guess, would look okie dokie for that. So that's R913. Lavender blue. I'm going to try to go in with the chisel. I've noticed I've been working with brush markers a lot recently, and that's almost making these bullet nibs tedious. 
because, you know, the brush ones, when you're using a brush, it just goes down so much faster. So I may learn to use my chisel nibs yet. Or broad tips, you know, chisels or broads, whichever you would prefer to call them. I do feel like I have a little more control over them than I once felt that I had. Back in, you know, December when I first started trying to work with the broad nibs, it just felt completely out of control for me. And sometimes it's still difficult, but it's getting a little easier. I missed part of the fence right there. It's typical, 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 typical. I'm going to fix that. Okay. Birds are chirping and singing, and they're all thinking, Spring has sprung. They're wrong. It's just a trick. Hmm. Okay, now. We'll do this up. I need lightning yellow. I need lightning yellow. Bill. There we go. Um, I'm going to use R503, which is pastel pink, and do the petals to the little flower here on this fairy's dress. Okay. I'm going to be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm sorry about that. Thank you so much for your patience, even though you didn't know I was gone. I'm using the lightning yellow. I'm going to put that inside of these flowers here. center of these. Okay. Now, I think I'll take that pastel pink and do these little flowers here that match the flower on her dress. And then I'm going to come in with Vivid Pink, which is R607. And I will do these little flowers here. just the fronts of them, I think. And there's one more pink that I'll come in and do the little petals that are in the back.
one of our favorite places to eat has closed. It's called Folks. I don't know if you guys have those throughout the country or not. But when I was a kid, it was called Po Folks. And it's like a country um, type restaurant, similar maybe to Cracker Barrel, but not really, but sort of. Um, they would have catfish, fried livers, fried chicken, um, meatloafs, uh, I think they may have had shrimp, just all kinds of different things. And um, it was, it was reasonably, reasonably priced and they closed. Yeah. So that's kind of sad. Um, that was one of the places that we would um, go out to eat sometimes. Luckily, my fried tomato is the name of it. Another one that we really love. Luckily, it's still here and doing well. I love, love, love that place. R605 is Cerise. I'm going to use that. Um, just at like the back of the petals so it'll be just a little bit of a different shade of pink and I don't know why food is on my brain so strong today but apparently it is I went to Michael's the other day and enabled myself <laughs> crazy. You guys say, oh, you enabled me. Well, sometimes I enable myself, and just walking into Michael's sometime is, is an enablement. And I've made trips to Hobby Lobby recently and to Tuesday morning. Just kind of looking around to see what's there. I got myself a really nice planner on clearance at Hobby Lobby. Let me show it to you guys real quick. I really like this. Isn't this pretty? This was $3.74 at my Hobby Lobby on clearance. And I grabbed it. And the inside, it, it was just empty. You know, it's got little places here. These, this is actually from Michael's. And I used a 60% off coupon at Michael's for the insert. And then I used a 20% off coupon for just a little notepad for the back. So, I mean, there's not a lot. I mean, there's maybe $7, 6 $7 is all that I've gotten to this planner. And it's really nice. So, yeah, I'm excited about that. I'm going to start using that a little bit to plan some things out for the channel, like in advance and, and things like that. Okay, let's see. I really don't know what color to do the butterfly. I guess I'll start with B227, which is Indian blue, just for the outside of the wings. Um, maybe. Well, oh, wrong end. I had to make a mess. Can't use a chisel on this tiny of a spot. Maybe the body too, what do you think? Yeah. And then maybe that Carillion Blue to a five for some of this like this on the inside. And then come in with the pastel blue to a three kind of finish off what's left here. There, cute little blue butterfly. I love blue butterflies. Brooke's favorite color was blue. So, me and my blue butterflies. I have a memorial tattoo of a blue butterfly 
on the top of my right foot for her. Okay, this is potato brown that I'm using for this little fairy's hair. It is Y623. And these colors sh should match up with um, Cali Arts also. Okay, let's look at R317, which is deep red. I'm going to do this little heart on this fairy's shirt. And then. Let me see. I can do, I think, I think I'll do the pastel pink for her little dress for this fairy. And then we can go in maybe with our vivid pink for the wings, possibly. Okay. I think I'll do her shoes in this vivid pink also. Very cute. Very stinking cute. And that's it for that part of the picture other than maybe putting some silver lining around the clouds. And I guess we can work on little cute patootie up here. I'm going to use the 606 bud, bud green on the little um, leaves that are around her um, outfit. She looks like a little strawberry, huh? Is that kind of the vibe you get off of her? Like it's a little strawberry outfit, maybe. I'm not sure. I don't know that I have a color that would be good for strawberry. I've got a bright pink there that Charisse, but I don't have a good strawberry. And I'm probably saying that wrong. Charisse, C E R I S E. Charisse. I just want to give Zoe Archer a shout out. I was watching one of her videos um, just the other night and she was talking about the different um, channels that she had been watching and catching up on some of the videos for. This is at Charisse R605 and um, she had mentioned that she had just finished recently watching some of my videos and um, she had said that you know even if she's not commenting that she's you know definitely watching the videos so shout out to Zoe know that I am right there watching your videos also um, I really love all of your videos they just they're so fun and so light and I love it I love hearing about everything that's going on in your life and all the other color tubers' lives too. If you don't subscribe to Zoe Archer, but goodness, who does not subscribe to Zoe Archer, right? It's awesomeness. But if you don't, go check out her channel and subscribe. I love it over there. I love her videos. 
this is that vivid pink. I'm going to do this, um, do the wings. Oh, there is someone a couple houses down that is hammering on something, and they're using, like, it sounds like they're hammering metal to metal, and it's this thunk, 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 and it's like, oh my goodness. I really hope you guys can't hear that. So cute. Okay, um, where'd that barely beige go? It's here. It's here somewhere. Nope. This is it. Yep. R100. Barely beige. Should I do this fairy's hair a brown or a blonde? Hmm. Let's get this ear. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to do it R427, which is actually old red, but it's a very dark um, red. So I think it would go almost as an auburn for a hair color. used a good many markers for this. And that was my goal. I wanted you guys to be able to kind of see a range of color for the Hoo Hoo Heroes in a full coloring sheet. And I think we did that. And there we have it. And let's see how many markers. Three five, seven, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, eight, fifteen, sixteen, 
19 of the 88 markers <laughs> that we used. Very good. Okay, so these were the Who Who Hero dual ended art markers. There will be a link down below in the description for these. This is a page from A Fairy's Tale by Miss Tabitha Barnett. There will be a link down below to where you can purchase this book on Amazon, as well as a link to her shop where you can pick up any of her books, and there's a coupon code in the description for 30% off for my subscribers, limited time. And don't forget to maybe check out the skin tone and hair downloads that she has available for us. All right, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. We would love to have you here. And until next time, guys, peace, love, and happy coloring. Bye, guys.